European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen pledged to lend Ukraine up to 35 billion euros as part of a loan package organized by the group of seven major industrial nations, as it seeks to help the country rebuild its economy and its war-shattered power grid. Speaking during a trip to Kiev, she said the loan will be backed by the windfall profits from immobilized Russian assets, and that Ukraine can decide how the funds are spent. The loans would be underwritten by the windfall profits earned on almost $300 billion in Russian assets, which have been frozen over its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The vast majority of that money is held in EU nations. G7 leaders agreed in June to engineer a $50 billion loan to help Ukraine in its fight for survival. Interest earned on profits from Russia's frozen central bank assets would be used as collateral, but progress in distributing the loans has been slow. Von der Leyen said that the EU is confident that we can deliver this loan to Ukraine very quickly. The 27-nation bloc hopes that other G7 countries will follow its lead and start providing loans too. Zelensky said that his priorities are to rebuild Ukraine's energy network, erect more bomb shelters, improve schools, and buy more weapons and ammunition. Von der Leyen arrived in Ukraine on Friday focused on helping the country to restore and reconnect its electricity grid and boost its heating capacity as winter approaches. Around half of Ukraine's energy infrastructure has been destroyed during the war with Russia, and rolling electricity blackouts leave parts of the east in darkness for four hours at a time. Von der Leyen said it was the equivalent of all of Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia losing electricity. Meanwhile, winter is approaching. Ukraine's winter runs from late October through March, with January and February the toughest months. The Europeans hope to help supply around 25% of the 17 gigawatts of power that the country is likely to need this winter. Okay, thank you, Press. Thank you. I'm here today, dear Volodymyr, to tell you and to tell the people of Ukraine that the European Union is here to help you in this challenge, to keep the lights on, to keep your people warm as winter is just around the corner, and to keep your economy going as you fight for your survival. The Commission's plan is built around three priorities. The first is we repair. We help you repair the damages done by the Russian strikes. We will aim to restore 2.5 gigawatt of capacity this winter. That is approximately 15% of your country's needs for this winter. Then we connect the second element. We will keep connecting Ukraine to the European electricity grid. Thus, we can export two gigawatt of electricity to Ukraine. This covers roughly 12% of the country's need for the winter. So with these two pillars, repair and connect, we can cover over 25% of Ukraine's needs for this winter. 
And this is in addition to Ukraine's own production. Therefore, the third pillar of our plan is to stabilize. We are working on securing a steady flow of energy through Ukraine, despite Russia's attacks on large infrastructure. And right now, we are dispatching mobile gas turbines and solar panels, and we spoke about the physical protection of uh, the power stations that are so necessary. I am happy to announce that today the Commission has adopted proposals that will enable the European Union to lend 35 billion euros from the G7 pledge. This is a huge step forward. We are now confident that we can deliver this loan to Ukraine very quickly, a loan that is backed by the windfall profits from immobilized Russian assets. So crucially, this loan will flow straight into your national budget. This will improve Ukraine's macrofinancial stability, and it will provide you with significant and much needed fiscal space. You will decide how best to use the funds, giving you maximum flexibility to meet your needs.